I wanted to create a wall art piece uh, from the 116 that I'd wrecked a few years ago. The donor car was a failed restoration and a bit of a mess and I used part from it to restore some other 116s so I didn't have too many dramas about taking half of the car off with a recip saw you can see here. And this is the rough template that I had several years ago when I thought of the idea. So using the recip saw, I cut the inner lining of the door skins off. Uh, these are Euro doors without the reinforced Australian strut. Uh, this lightened them up and also gave you access to put hooks underneath the bit underneath the window sill. You can see here, it also enables you to get it flusher on the wall. Uh, the rear piece, I had great concerns about the roof trim above the C-pillar because as a hobbyist, just putting this up myself, I was going to find this bloody difficult to do. So I decided to cut that off. You can see even the front quarter panel has a lip that you can get the hooks under, which does help you a great deal. Here's the roof piece that's been cut off. After I've cut the interiors off, dusted them out. Haven't polished any of the panels up yet. The back's very dusty. So making progress with the car. I've got the three rear panels. The rear quarter's the heaviest and the most awkward. So I've got that first. I've tried to balance the doors, which have just got two hooks under them at the moment and I've yet to do the front quarter. I'll obviously have to tidy up the, the C pillar, which is too high. So I've roughly got the car lined up very roughly. You can see it's quite proud on the front panel, which admittedly must have been in a prang and been re-sprayed. But that's what we have. So I'm gonna trim off a bit to get it flush on the wall, because you can see the bulk of the panels are being made to the flush of the wall. And then from the top, if I don't drop the phone, all the brackets along there. I need to trim a bit off. You can see I've just chalked it up because that's stopping this panel from being in with the rest of it. It's too far off. So that's going to come off tomorrow morning when I don't wake annoy the neighbours in the middle of the night. So a lot of parts. Got to get the tint off the windows. So just removing the uh, tint and all the crap off the glass. So all the bits there, just going over all the rubber, polish up all the chrome, pick out the bits which might not be the best, but will look all right. So that's how we're gonna get the uh, tail light to fit the small section, just measured around the curves at the end. I'm not gonna put the backing of it on. This is a busted tail light. Uh, contrary to what I just said, you have to actually have the backing on the tail light because otherwise you can't fix it to the frame. So I just used a jigsaw to cut that piece off. So there's only one screw holding on the long bumpers. So in the end, you need to fit some brackets to hold the, the free end you can see there so they don't flop around. And this is how I spent most of my time up a ladder trying to juggle these pieces on, which is a bit challenging. This is just a time lapse of putting one of the rear doors back together, just uh, gluing on the trim around the window frame, um, putting the glass back in. The main glass panel still had the metal frame underneath, and I just actually uh, metal wired that to some holes in the door frame rather than use struts to hold it up, which gave me a bit more space. Um, give it a clean up and then it's up on the wall. The yellow wheels need to be cut in half because they're too thick otherwise. So you drill a couple of filer holes with a drill, which is actually pretty soft. And then I use the recip saw. This looks a lot more dangerous than it was. Uh, your leg's about five or six inches away. Uh, if I had advice, I would use it. But this is what I had at home as a hobbyist. Uh, but the recip saw actually made short work of it. You do go through a couple of blades. These are six inch, not six and a half inch, 6.9 alloys. So there's, I've got a few of these lying around. It's no great loss. Cutting through the tires, I uh, just needed a jigsaw actually with a couple of blades. And that actually gave a pretty nice straight cut. Cutting the tire in half gives you your two tires that you need, but the problem is, is that the inner lip of the tire is normally what sort of holds on the alloy. So it's too tight when you're just trying to push this in by hand. 
so you actually need to cut that inner rim off. You can see there the bead that stops you from getting that tire on. So back to the jigsaw, cutting through these radial tires does release a few, a lot of uh, metal strands. So I did some measurements of the rough tire position off one of my off my own 6.9, and then basically put some screw holes in there. Yes, I know you don't need five holes to put it in there, but this was mainly for alignment more so than actual weight bearing. So then go the ram set screws, and then we lined that up, and they actually looked uh, in reasonable position. So what's holding up the panels are a whole bunch of brackets from the hardware store. Uh, some of these are actually secured to the panels so they can't come off. On the front one, I put some other ones on to adjust the height. That's the final panel. And here's the final result. Uh, so that front panel does irk me a bit being previously painted the wrong color, but it doesn't look too bad. I entertain cutting up front and rear glass. Uh, that's something I just don't think I've got the enthusiasm for at this point. Uh, but who knows, maybe down the track to finish it off.